All right, how's it going? Let's take a look at a related rate problem. And by the way, check out my other videos. I've got a bunch of these, a bunch of different problems work with related rates. Uh, check the other ones out and my other videos. All right, so a trough is 10 feet long and its ends have the shape of an isosceles triangle that are three feet across at the top and have a height of one foot. If the trough is being filled with water at a rate of 12 cubic feet per minute, how fast is the water level rising when the water is six inches deep? All right, so let's, uh, let's draw a picture here. So the end looks like an isosceles triangle. All right, and we know across the top here, it's three feet. The height is one foot. And uh, the water is being filled at 12 cubic feet per minute. And they want to know how fast is the water level rising when the water is six inches deep. So let's draw the water level in here. That'll be about right there. And this would be, I guess we can call this B, call this H. And, and look, it makes no difference what you label them. Okay. That makes no difference. You can label them whatever letters you want. All right. So, it's telling us about how the water's filling the tank. So that, that has to do with volume. So we need to know the volume of this, of this thing. Well, let, let me just sketch this real quick. I'm not going to sketch the whole thing, but just kind of give you an idea. It's going to look, you know, something like this. And then the other end is an isosceles triangle also. Well, the volume of this thing is just the area times the length and we know this length here is 10 feet all right so the volume is half the base times the height okay times the length of the thing that's the formula but we know the length is 10 feet okay so we'll just put times 10. All right. Now keep in mind that this base and this height, that's not three and one. This base and this height is the, the base of the water. How, how, uh, the distance here, this length, and this is the height they're talking about, but we can go ahead and put the 10 in for, uh, the length here because that's not changing any see this base and this height it's changing as the water levels going up and down so we can't plug anything into that and so that's going to give us volume is equal to five base times height all right so let's look and see what other information they give us let's write down Let's write down what they give us and what they want us to find. Well, it's being filled with water at 12 cubic feet per minute. So that's the change in volume. So I know dV dt is equal to 12 cubic feet per minute. And they want to know how fast is the water level rising. So they want to know dH dt how fast is this height changing here all right so that's that's all they give us but if you notice we've got a, a b here well they don't give us uh, db over dt the change in the base they don't give us that information but we do have uh but we are looking for dh dt and we're and we're given dv dt so this b that's got to go, all right? We've got to get that in terms of H. So 
looking at that, let's come over here. We got similar triangles here. Well, we can say uh, 3 over 1. So this base over this height is equal to this base over this height. And we're solving for B. And so that tells us that B is equal to 3H. All right, so we can go and plug that in. So we've got V is equal to 5 times 3H times H. And so we get V is 15H squared. So now let's take the derivative. So we've got DV DT is 30 DH, I'm sorry, is 30 H times DH DT. So now we just need to plug everything in. So let's see, DV DT, that is, well, let's go ahead and just solve for DH DT first. So if I divide both sides or multiply by 1 over 30H, I get DH DT is equal to 1 over 30H times DV DT. So now let's go and plug everything in. So let's see. DV DT, that's 12. And then I just need H. Well, it says, how fast is the water level rising when the water is six inches deep? So that tells me that H is equal to what? 0.5. Okay. Notice they give it to you six inches. Okay. They give it to you in inches, but this is in feet. So we need to get the height in feet. And so I've got DH DT is equal to one over 30 times 0.5 times dv dt, which is 12. And so I get dh dt, and then you punch that into your calculator or whatever, and that's going to be four-fifths feet per, and that's minutes. Yeah, because this is per minute. And so there's how fast the water level is rising. And I hope that helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.